Hello everyone, this is my review of the Aspera 12th Avenue Asok Sukhumit Bangkok Hotel. I paid about 75 US dollars per night for the premium suite, which was big and spacious, very elegant, very chic, at the same time very classy and open, open space concept. The lounge area was nice and big with a nice comfy couch, TV, Netflix, everything included. What I really loved also was the bathroom, which was really really nice and luxurious big tub big walls nice big mirror plenty of room and plenty of towels as you can see right there and whenever i travel i always make sure i get a nice decent view from the window this one has nice city view you can see most of the bangkok skyline at the sukhumwit area and the hotel pool is visible there as well Right outside the hotel you have a little Buddhist shrine, as you know most Thai people are Buddhist so they pay the respects of these little shrines which are pretty much available and present all through Bangkok in little street alleyways like this. Right so the hotel has a really lovely zen garden style pool area with nice fountains, a lot of greenery, a lot of nice koi fish in the pond as well which is so relaxing honestly, it just gives you that zen vibe truly soothing to the soul really brings utter peace to your mind no matter what kind of day you're having just the sound of the water and the fish puts you at rest as you can guess i love the pool area a lot most of my work most of my relaxation time is always by the pool there's something profound about the sound of water that really really invigorates your soul and you just can't get away from it Right when you exit the hotel, there's a cafe called Cafe Di Chang, which is right across from the hotel. Just two minutes walk, you can take the hotel tuk-tuk there. I was pretty much there every day for breakfast, lunch, working on my laptop. Uh, they have a wide variety on their menu, both Thai and Western cuisines. I love spicy food and I'm always willing to try anything new. So for me, that was a regular, regular stop there. And of course, they have the best coffee. And what I really like about Cafe Doi Chang is that the prices are quite reasonable. So from baht to dollars, between six to ten dollars, and you can eat like a king. You can dine inside or outside on the patio. I did both, and that was always my preference because it's easy to work. Now, if you're fitness conscious like me, I like to work out and keep fit even when I'm traveling. The gym at the hotel is perfect, not too big, not too small, has all the right weight categories, and it's very tranquil and peaceful in there because honestly nobody else is there ever <laughs> so it's always the whole gym to yourself and since it's right next to the pool area it gives that really calm really nice ambiance really soothing very peaceful so you can enjoy your workout and your music in peace What I love about the hotel's pool area is that it's always kept in immaculate shape. There's never any garbage, never any litter, there's always people working, there's always people cleaning up. The hotel staff are really hardworking and really responsible. I met this young guy and he was really nice and sweet and as you can see, always always friendly and always willing to talk to foreigners like myself. You can take the hotel tuk-tuk to Terminal 21 or the BTS stations, everything was nearby very easy to walk as well but if you're just being lazy sometimes it's nice to just get in the tuk-tuk and just get a free ride which is about like a five minute walk so it saves you some time especially if it's really hot outside and you just want to have a nice carefree sweat free ride to the to the mall here you can see terminal 21 now keep in mind most hotel tuk-tuks across bangkok do stop running after sunset so if you're out later than that then it's always a good idea to come back on your own terms. I like to just take a walk, especially after a long, heavy meal. It's always a nice way to walk back to the hotel, enjoying the sights, the sounds, the ambience, the energy of the city. And honestly, if you're that kind of person who doesn't want to, then always you can call Uber or Grab or the Tuk Tuk privately. So all in all, I'd say my stay at the Aspera 12th Avenue, Sukhumwit, Bangkok was a great one. I really enjoyed it. 
and I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you as well for your next trip. Take care and cheers.